All right, after the head gasket blew, here is the fix. I don't know if you guys can see that in there or not. But I have upgraded that to a half inch line all the way back. Dripped some pecs through there. I can't quite see that. Mark Erickson from Erickson Machine. I chatted. He said that these machines run a little hot, even stock. So having any any piece on there, like a high compression head or a bit of an exhaust, uh, it's just reason enough to do essentially dual cooling. Uh, and he said, or option B is go to half inch cooling, which is kind of the same thing. I don't know if you can see him here or not. But you see my PEX line down there, the clear line. Sorry, it's not focusing right down there. And I uh, brought that in to the underside of the manifold here. I actually filled that manifold's uh, original hole. So it was off center there with uh, JB Weld and uh, re tapped it. Uh, so it was all in the same aluminum, but just to make sure it's centered up a little bit better. I <clears throat> tapped that for. Um, quarter NPT, so we're running half inch line to quarter NPT, which is almost a direct one-to-one -one if memory serves here. Uh, it comes up into here, obviously goes into um, this coolant jacket, comes out to both these two lines. Now the big trick is when half inch equals two three-eighths, and so to get the water to come in, you, you have to have it come out. And so what I did is uh, I took the cooling out of the uh, head here, I brought it down into the lower part of the exhaust elbow and it exits. Also, I took the, the moment here to uh, add a uh, hose adapter here. So I cut off a garden hose for a while if needed. Uh, it just seemed to fit there and I had one. And then I ran uh, dual cooling out. So we have one half inch in, dual three eighths out. The original out here comes to here. I made like a little bracket out of zip ties or whatnot. You have it going to the original pisser and then back into the exhaust. And then this piece, which comes out of obviously the second port, comes out under here and just goes to another pisser. Uh, we've obviously put new gaskets in for the head, uh, for the, uh, and the exhaust manifold and the uh, exhaust elbow here. I don't know what you call this. Um, yeah, and it turns out I had, after, you know, having a blown head gasket and, and run a little hot and whatnot, I did a compression test on it. I have 182 here and 170 and some change here. So they're not perfect, but you know what? For a ski that hasn't ran in a long time, it uh, it's actually coming out pretty nice. So I'm going to take it for the first rip tomorrow. Um I have no idea what to expect of it, I gotta be honest with you. But uh, charge the battery up, I got a buddy coming, we'll swap the 440 off and uh, run these two 650s. Um, and I will be, if this, assuming this all works well, I'm gonna be doing the same swap on this machine here. It's actually a really easy swap to do once you know what you're doing. Uh, it's stock, but, and I've never had any problems with it, so maybe I'm kind of messing with something I shouldn't. But uh, as I said, Mark Erickson said that uh, even these sinks stock uh, run a little too warm. They're, they're real borderline, so um, I, it's going to maybe make some sense for me just to do that. And if I do that, I'll, I'll go through the whole process. Basically, if you follow his video on how to do it, um, how to do a dual cool drill through, it's kind of the same thing. The biggest trick on this one is when you're drilling into the area back there, there's actually a little pipe inside there. So when you drill it out initially, um, you're basically just going to loosen that pipe. You have to yank it out and then fish your way through with, a, I believe I used a 9 16 And actually, I did something different than he did. Um, I wonder if I have it here. I don't. Uh, I used half-inch pecs, which is half-inch half inch inner diameter, right? Um, and then I used half-inch barbs, like dual uh, you know, half-inch barb couplers, brass barb couplers. And uh, half-inch barb couplers don't go into PEX, but they go into the uh, <clears throat> coolant lines. So what I did is I took the half-inch barb coupler, threw it in my drill press over there, spun it around, and just you know sand sandpapered it with some 200 grit sandpaper until it fit in here perfectly. 
uh, did some clamps on it and I think it should work real nice. Um, Mark from Eric's machine, he used, um, aluminum square tube or, uh, excuse me, tubing, circular tubing. So I'm, I'm assuming that's great as well. I just, I had this line around, it made sense and it just seemed a little bit different. It, it presented more challenges because what he did, obviously you would just put a, a hose directly on. What I did, I had to put, you know, a, a coupler on and things on those lines to make it work. But for me, it worked out great. Uh, that said, I'll tell you tomorrow after it either explodes on me on the lake or doesn't. So wish me luck. We'll take it out. And uh, once I get it back and dry it off and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching.